Well, Halloween is just around the corner, and while that means a lot of fun for the kids, there are some things, of course, that both kids and parents should be aware of. Joining us now with some Halloween safety tips is Metro Officer Misael Para. Good morning to you. How are you? Good morning, Alyssa. I'm doing great. Thank you, and uh, thank you for having me. Halloween is one of those holidays that kids look forward to all all year. So we want to help uh, parents and kids feel safe this year as they hit the streets and go trick or treating by following just a few simple tips. Absolutely. And uh, we'll get to those tips in just a second. First, we just briefly uh, told our viewers about Operation Scarecrow. Can you tell us a little bit about what that is and how parents, too, uh, can take advantage of this? Yeah, the operation is a uh, is an operation. It's multi-jurisdictional. So we have Las Vegas City Marshals, uh, Nevada Department of Public Safety, and the Clark County School District Police helping us out by going uh, to their homes of registered sex offenders, making sure that they're still in compliance with the offender registry laws, making sure that they've updated their addresses with us. Um, and this is very important because parents actually have the ability to uh, go on our website and use the offender watch feature to track where some of these offenders are living. And this can be very important as you're planning out your Halloween night uh, and it can help you avoid uh, some of those houses uh, where these offenders are living. Absolutely, and that's lvmpd.com, correct? Absolutely, they can find it at lvmpd.com. There's a feature right on the homepage that says Offender Watch and they can also download the app Offender Watch and oh. they can have it on their phones as they're out and about. Uh, what's that app called? Offender watch. Okay, wonderful. All right, now let's get to those tips you have for parents to plan a safe Halloween night for themselves and the kids. Yeah, so we know it's going to be dark when uh, your kids are out and about. So uh, one thing that you can do to help uh, be a little more safe is to carry a flashlight with you. Uh, this is going to help illuminate the sidewalks that you're going to be walking on and avoid some trip and falls. But it also makes you more visible to vehicles that are out on the roads that night. Uh, and another thing you can do too is attach glow sticks to your child's costume. Again, it's gonna help with the visibility and it even adds a little bit of a cool factor as a bonus to your child's costume. It really does. So, uh, I love make seeing sure the glow that you're sticks on the, on the costumes. That's always, that's, and it's, it's uh, beneficial. It looks cool and it helps out, right? Absolutely, yeah. Again, the main thing here is that we're trying to be more visible to the drivers out on the road. Uh, so again, we always want to remind folks about pedestrian safety and road safety. Uh, so remind your kids if they're going to be out uh, trick-or-treating by themselves or if you're going to be with them to look both ways before they cross the street. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure that you're walking, not running. Uh, that way you can you know, see any cars that may be coming your way. And it's also an important reminder for drivers uh, as you're out and about that night to really slow down and, and put away anything that can be distracting you in the car, such as your, your cell phone or any other distractions. Um, this is going to allow you to react quickly to any uh, anything that may come up, such as a child darting in front of your car as they're trying to cross the street. And very quickly, Ms. Sayal, will there, will there be any ramped up DUI efforts on Halloween. We know that can be a big party night and we definitely don't want uh, drivers under the influence with so many kids out and about in dark costumes on the roads. Absolutely, and this is something that our officers are always on the lookout. We live in a 24-hour city, uh, and we know that a lot of people like to go out and have a good time. So, you know, we just remind everybody, if you're going to go out and have a few drinks, make sure that you have a designated driver uh, or just simply don't drive um, because our officers are going to be out on the lookout, and the last thing you want is for your Halloween night to end with you ending up in jail for a DUI. All right, Officer Para, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it, and happy Halloween. Happy Halloween to you, Alyssa. Take Thank care. Thank you. And if you have a question for Metro, send an email to behindthebadge at fox5vegas.com.